Hello there. Today I would like to pay my respects to the late Jackie Blow, a highly respected winemaker from the Loire Valley who died about two weeks ago. Um, and so this is Domaine de la Butte, uh, particularly it's a wine called Pierre de la Butte. Um, it's 2020 and um, it's from Bourgogne. So it's a wine made from Cabernet Franc. Um, Jackie was um, highly respected both by the people who sold his wines and the, um, uh, his fellow vignerons. Um, he was a man who seemed to be able to turn his, his hand to any style of wine and produce some absolutely fabulous results. Um, Jackie had been a wine merchant and he came to uh, the Mont Louis region of um, the Loire, uh, just to the south of Vouvray, in um, 1989. Um, in fact, 1988, he bought his, his um, first vines in 1989. He made his first wine there. Um, and uh, at that stage, he bought eight hectares of vines. And during his, the rest of his life, he built his, his, um, his holdings in, in vineyards up to about 70 hectares um, with vines in Mont Louis, um, also in Bourgogne, and, and some in Vouvray. Um, his, his approach was to be very terroir based, um, to grow grapes organically um, and to make single vineyard wines. Um, his domains were certified organic um, and today they're made by his, his son Jean-Philippe to, to whom he, he handed over uh, control of, of the wine and, he, and vineyards. Um, he's survived by his, his wife Joelle um, and uh, our sympathies go to her and her family. Um, the, the, the I think the reason that, that, that Jackie was um, so special to people was his not only his ability but his um, humility um, and there was a, there was a kindness to him that that, that made him very open and uh, accepting of people um, and that seems to be his approach to wines as well so. Um, he bought his, his holdings in Bourgogne in 2002, and generally when he bought um, vineyards, they were really old vines, sort of 40, 50 years old, sort of vines with um, mature root systems, which would produce low yields and, and high quality fruit. Um, in the um, winery, his approach was to be as hands-off as possible. Um, everything was hand-picked. Um, fermentation would go on with natural yeasts um, and uh, fermentation and ageing went on in large old oak casks, nine or ten years old or so. Um, so there was no um, influence of new oak flavour in his wines. And he was very happy to allow both um, juice and fruit to oxidise prior to fermentation because he felt that was quite safe and it would it would actually help the texture and texture was quite important to, to Jackie and you see that in his wines and their harmony. Um, sometimes ageing wines in, in um, stainless steel prior for a few months prior to their release just to, just to help the texture. Um, <coughs> looking at this particular wine we've got a wine that has a um, a nice intensity of colour. It's not um, it's not quite opaque, um, but it has a, um, a vivid um, purplish ruby colour. Um, seems to slightly stain the glass as I swirl it. Um, the aromas, the aromas are rich. There's a sort of a a meatiness and a red cherry note to them there. Maybe some little touches of spice, but no obvious oak. It's fruit intensity that's coming through there. So let's taste. In the Loire Valley, where um, it's relatively cool, it's often difficult to get. Cabernet Franc completely ripe and it can sometimes be quite harsh and astringent. This is a wine that I've just checked at 12.5% alcohol. Um, it doesn't have particularly searing acidity. It's got a lovely smooth texture and it's showing off all the beautiful perfume that um, Cabernet Franc can be so good at. There's a 
beautiful smoothness, juicy berry notes. I mean, the juiciness is showing the acidity must be there, but it's not coming through um, and standing out. It's in there with the fruit. Um, red cherries to, through to mulberry to a sort of an almost sort of purple, darker cherry note. Um, perhaps dark plum, damson, bullis, those sort of notes coming through there. Um, but there's such a harmony. The tannins are wonderfully silky smooth, and yet there is there's quite good um, structure there. The wine's not heavy, it's at best medium bodied. And that harmony is allowing the flavours to last beautifully. There's no alcohol, there's no high alcohol to cut the finish off. Um, so those sort of red berries, as, as, as they develop on the finish, almost getting to a sort of a, a rich mulberry through to almost a sort of a lifted raspberry note. There seems to be that sort of slight spice to it um, that you can get with a raspberry. That's a delicious wine. I mean, and as I say, sometimes um, Cabernet Franc can be astringent and it can need time to, to open out. But um, clearly this is um, a wine made by somebody who understands how to produce harmony in wine. So um, I, I think we, we will miss Jackie Blow. Um, I think we we wish all the best to his family in continuing to make these fabulous wines. Um, he'll certainly leave a legacy. So thank you very much for watching the video. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you'll follow our channel um, for information about the wine, where to get it, and that the um, pricing, uh, there's the link in the description below um, to follow to the Wine Searcher website. Um, so yes, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you'll join us again soon. Bye now.